So this year's show, Inc., from a brass perspective, it's been a blast working on. Being involved from the beginning, which I'm fortunate enough to do with the designers, especially Dave Glide, you get to see the, the show kind of take shape from the very beginning. The different characters and the emotions that we are going to portray throughout the show. As the members started learning the music, they started to grow into it and really started to enjoy it. And the music just has so many different personalities, rhythmic personalities, harmonic personalities, just the different feelings that we have to conjure up, not within the show only, but to the audience as well. So there's going to be moments in the show where it's very easy to figure out what to listen to or to look at. And there's always going to be a clear idea of what the most important thing is, but this design team does such a great job of taking other levels, other layers, constantly peeling the onion and giving you different things that you can look at. One thing that I always love about a Blue Devil show is you can watch it 10, 20, 30 times and you're constantly finding new things to look at and listen to. I run rehearsals most days and I'm up in the box and I always see something new for the first time. So there's constantly new ideas always presenting themselves throughout the entire show. So one of the challenges of putting together an 11 and a half minute show is you want to have variety and diversity throughout. And something that Dave Glide is such a master at is finding new ideas throughout the entire show to present to the different voices, to the brass arranging, to the percussion, to the pit. And one thing that's really evident in this year's show is the vast styles and complexities of harmonic integrity. We have so many different harmonic tensions that we have to teach the members. Not just octave unisons or major chords or minor chords, but Dave has been so inventive with some of the, the harmonic responsibilities that he's given the core members that we have to create new exercises almost daily to try to get them to understand how their voice fits within a certain chord. So it's, it's got to be a day-by-day -day process. You're constantly telling them that you know, today is a maturing process, tomorrow we're going to be a little bit better. Every day we're working towards that comfortability factor. And then once they become comfortable with certain sections of the show, then they can start to perform it. I think when you allow yourself to get ahead of the cart sometimes, we, we miss out on the nuances of every single section of the show. So as the show is being developed from a musical and, and visual perspective, the challenges, they, they really intertwine. And it's a matter of making sure that you don't get overwhelmed and you don't get caught off guard with things and just having it be a maturing process all the way to the end of the season. There are definitely times within the show where, where members will, will, will get so much tension in their body because they have a really difficult visual move or the music is extremely intense and, and they're not quite sure how to put it with the lower half of the body. In those kind of moments, the brass staff really relies on relaxing the body and the mind. Uh, we do a lot of breathing gym exercises daily. And, and the purpose of those exercises are to take all the, the, the energy and tension in your body and just release it, let it go away and then just slow your brain and your body down uh, by opening up your, your breath and your mind. And we, we encourage them to do that throughout all rehearsals and in moments where they really find the most tension in their body. And when you perform with tension, you're always going to be on the edge of error. And we really, really try to preach to them to constantly stay relaxed. The mistakes are going to happen until you've really matured within your performing role the members need to understand that tension isn't anything good. So when they start to get a little bit, you know, too much energy and a little bit too much tension, we always preach them to, the, to relax. So when you only have to do the show music in regards to the show music, you will only reach a certain level of performance. By creating an exercise and doing it in a completely different fashion at different parts of the day, the members and performers, they learn a new aspect of how to perform that. And then it'll seep into their performance of the show music. So we're constantly trying to think of new things to do and present to them that they may not understand is, is changing the way that they approach something within the show. But we as a staff, we know that we're developing their skills further, that it will pay off 10 times over each time they do the show. So once we're ready to perform and we start walking onto the performance field, the one thing that I'll always tell the members is just do what you know. We rehearse and we practice performance. 
and you can only go out on the performance field and give what you've been giving the whole season up to that point. You can't expect more out of yourself that night. So one thing we really encourage the members to do is to constantly practice at the performance level that they're going to want to do once they put on the uniform and get into the stadium.